Should you be an MD or an MD PhD? In this video, we're going to answer what it means to be an MD PhD or even a DO PhD and if it's actually necessary for your career goals. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Adam Nessam. I'm the founder of The Pre-Med Consultants, where we help students every step of the way to get into medical school. All right, now into the video. So a lot of students, I hear this all the time in my Instagram DMs, they'll message me, I'll, I'll ask them you know, what their plan is, and they say, I wanna be an MD, PhD because I like research, and I wanna be able to do research later on in my career. Little do they know, that you can still do research as an MD. This is a little bit of a secret that a lot of students don't know, but yes, you can do tons of research as an MD. And honestly, you're expected to do research when you're applying to most fellowships, residencies, and throughout medical school, you'll probably get involved in some sort of research. So don't worry about needing a PhD just because you want to do some form of research. An MD PhD is really for a true physician scientist who knows they most likely want to work in a research lab and run their own research lab and instead of practicing a majority of the week probably half their week is going to be dedicated to running studies running their labs working with research assistants and the other half will be seeing patients a lot of times when you're seeing patients it's in the context of studies that you're working on and so it's definitely a different path than md now you could do an md phd and then decide you don't want to actually do the research and run a lab as much you could use the phd for other things i know someone i was speaking to recently who she may use it for biotech or um, going into the vc world private equity there's a lot that you could do with the degree but you shouldn't just get a phd or an MD PhD for that matter, because you wanna do research. You can do research even if you're not an MD or a DO. So the reason you should do, again, an MD PhD is if you genuinely want to run your own research group and be a physician scientist, and you're very dedicated to research, you wanna be studying in a very niche field, and this comes with some sacrifice for sure. For example, it's going to most likely mean that medical school is going to take you eight full years. So it's gonna be the four years of med school and then four years of getting your PhD. A lot of times it works where you do the two, first two years of med school with your whole class, your, that incoming class. Then when they move on to third year, you go on to working on your PhD. And sometimes you were already starting to find your group and doing some work in the PhD during those first years of medical school, but then you're pursuing it for at least another two to four years is usually how long it takes. And then you finish your PhD and then you do the back half of medical school, which is third and fourth year of med school, which is the clinical rotations and the matching for residency. And so it definitely takes longer and there's an opportunity cost involved. So some people will say, oh, but you actually don't have to pay tuition for med school, which is true. You actually get a stipend if you get into an MD PhD program. But if you think about it this way, you have an opportunity cost of four more years of lost earnings as an attending because you're delaying the cycle. So if you do the cost benefit analysis, it actually ends up being pretty close in terms of, yes, you're in less debt, but those four extra years of making an attending salary usually pays off most of that debt if you're smart with your finances. And so from, from that standpoint, it's, it's a fairly close calculation. So again, if you want to be an MD, PhD, it's something you should really think a lot about. I would speak to current MD, PhD candidates and go shadow an MD, PhD and see what their day-to-day -day schedule is like and how it differs from an MD or DO schedule that's not running a research group or using their PhD in other ways. And if they're not using their PhD at all, well, that would be an example of someone who may not have needed to get the MD, PhD. They could have just done an MD track and save those extra four years. So again, I wouldn't do it if you just want to do research because you can do research as an MD. And I wouldn't do it if you just want medical school paid for because the cost benefit analysis, it's pretty close. It could be a factor for sure, but I wouldn't make it your only reason for doing an MD, PhD. And I've seen some students do that as well. I'm doing this just because I need to get medical school paid for. Additionally, it's very competitive to get into MD, PhD programs. So it might actually be harder for you to get into those programs than if you were to just apply generally MD or DO. And so with all of that, I hope it gives you a little bit more clarity on if MD or MD, PhD is right for you. If you do you still have any questions drop it in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them also don't forget to subscribe if you're pre-med at this point and you're still watching these videos and you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're doing 
please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. We're really trying to put out a lot of helpful pre-med content this year. And it also will help your peers who hopefully if you subscribe, the videos get picked up by the algorithm, they'll be seeing this as well. And I know that you're one of the collaborative pre-meds and not one of the cutthroat pre-meds who doesn't want others to do well. So you want everyone to see this helpful advice. All right, that's all for now. I will see you in the next video.